Welcome to another weekend of uncertainty for Manchester United as it takes on Brighton. Now there are a couple of problems which has made this quite a balanced match, maybe even slightly in favour of Brighton. Let me get to it just now. To start off with, there is no Paul Pogba and Ashley Young. This means Manchester United does not have the guys who usually control positions and organise things for them. Now when these two are not available, the responsibility used to usually falls to Mark Tominay, and Mark Tominay is a doubt for this match and Lindelof as well. So the duty of actually controlling position for Manchester United in launching attacks falls to Juan Bissaka and all of you know that Juan Bissaka is not very good going forward so the question is can they rely on him to do the honors? Probably not. This might lead the match to being a ping pong type of match which anybody can win so this is sort of like balancing the scales. Add to that, uh, Brighton controls its uh, position through Stevens and Proper. Even though they are a highway themselves, they cannot really defend well their control position, meaning Brighton can actually launch its attacks from somewhere in the midfield, which represents a shorter route to go and more chances uh, happening for Brighton. Also note that uh, Bissaka has to deal with the likes of Burn and LZ, who are very tricky customers who will be attacking him. So in addition to having to defend against this guy, these guys, he actually also has to uh, launch attacks. I don't think he'll be able to do this. This is too much for him. Uh, also note that on the left wing, there'll be Brandon Williams as there is no Ashley Young. And Brandon Williams definitely would not cope with the likes of Pascal Gross, Mopai and Montoya. Also consider that in front of Brendan Williams, we've got Fred and on his right, there'll be Victor Lindelof, uh, who's not very good at defending himself right now. He's out of form. So this actually might be a way for Brighton to attack United by their right flank. Uh, Rashford, kind of sort of like an, a decent defender, but the effect is he's also going to be pushed back to assist Brendan Williams and Fred against constant attacks, which makes sure that he will not be attacking his, himself uh, further blunting United's attack. And another question you also have to ask, how does United uh, defend against a team which attacks from all areas of the pitch? Uh, Brighton does not have someone who's really prolific in terms of actually attacking the goal and creating chances like that. But the thing is, everybody in the team has a goal uh, from Connolly right down to Duffy. And United in the state that it is right now, and the fact that it's not very good at defending is going to create a problem there. Uh, United also have to score very early because Brighton have got a much better bench to pick from. United is suffering from a leg of death right now. Uh, Brighton has the likes of Trossard, Mui, Murray, and sometimes Duffy on the bench. And these people can actually be called in to change the match, especially when you look at Trossard and Murray, who's got a thing for these types of games. Looking at Manchester United bench, you've got the likes of Greenwood, Lingard, Royal, uh, Mata, and Ghana. Really not something to actually talk about. So as the game goes on, Brighton actually will be in a position to bring in people who can change the game. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as you know, is not very good at influencing uh, the game from the benches. I have always complained. So Manchester United have to take the initiative early so that they can have some sort of control of the match. If this game drags on into the 70, 60, 80th minute with United not in the lead, it will suddenly swing in the favor of Brighton who can actually do something uh, on the bench. Brighton also have got some options, like uh, switching from a 4-4-2 to a 4-3-3, which is probably something that is never going to happen because of late they've been playing the 4-4-2. But imagine a 4-3-3 with Trossard and Gross starting together uh, with uh, Gross on the left and Trossard on the right. These are some of the chief creators of Brighton. And it is a shame the fact that, you know, Trossard is actually put in uh, as a substitute. But like I said in the point before, he can actually be used to swing the match in Brighton's favor later on in the game. And I think, yeah, it is okay for Brighton to start with the 4-4-2 right now because so far this season, Manchester United has not done well with any uh, formation that puts emphasis on having a lot of players at the back. In this case, a 4-4-2 means from midfield, going to the defense, there'll be about eight players and this will be very bad for Manchester United. So basically, this is what's going to go on. Uh, Brighton actually, in addition, I'd forgotten, controls position from the back. Uh, that's where it does most of its business. Now, you would have bet on United actually then 
come at them and have more chances of scoring but without the four people that i mentioned before it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to go it's probably the ball is going to come from the back and go to james or rashford who will probably have a run at these guys but with uh, one bisaka under pressure from alzette and burn and brendan williams needing protection from gross and montoya uh, and mupai is going to be very interesting to see if United will attack at all. And if you, you know that if you're not attacking, you're the one who's being attacked. So in terms of who's going to win this match, it's pretty tricky. But Brighton have got a very good chance of making our Manchester United have a miserable weekend. So if I was a betting person, I would not bet on Manchester United winning because you might lose yourself some bucks right there. But uh, slightly... Looking at it, I think Brighton have got a chance of actually taking something out of this match and uh, extending the gap between them and Manchester United. So let me know what you think about this match. How do you think it's going to go? I think Brighton has got a 70% chance of winning this match. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like the video, share it, hit the notification button and let's get the party rolling just before the match starts. Here's the critique and I'll see you in the next preview of Manchester United matches. Cheers.